Listen, just bring us up to speed with the squad, injuries, anything, any problems from last night? Nope, no issues. I think everyone will be fit. So obviously Pavel missed the game last night, but he'll be he'll be good to go Saturday. Normally when it's a big game, everybody's fit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, how, how do you reflect on, on last night? I thought we played well. I, I think anyone who, who was there will tell you that probably on the night we, we shaded the game, which is good for certain aspects of the game, but we, we, we still lacked the cutting edge. We, we couldn't find the, the clinical finish. We couldn't find the, the little bit of quality that would have got us back in the game. But I thought we quitted ourselves probably the best team on the night. Obviously, Bournemouth are the best team of the season. That's why they're, they're at the top. But for us, there was a lot of positives to take out the game last night. How does... Um, how do you reflect on, on perhaps the difference between your FA Cup results and, and the league results? Difficult to say. Cup competitions, one-off game. Uh, we seem to have approached it with a little bit more freedom, a little bit less nervousness, if you like. Uh, I think the league campaign has been disappointing. There, there is a sort of feeling of doom and gloom around the league campaign a bit this year, which is which is never nice. Uh, and I think that's reflected in the game last night when we were knocking at the door in the last 10 minutes and we were knocking on the door very, very much. Uh, Bournemouth, because they're on a winning run, they know, they know how to get over the line and win at the moment. We, we're struggling in the league a little bit to find, out, to find a way to win games. Whereas in the Cup, we've been good. We, we, we've known how to win the Cup games, so hopefully that continues on Saturday. Do you think getting to, to the semi-final, do you think it has affected your league, the league team? In my mind, no. Uh, you would have to ask the, the players whether it's affected them a little bit. Uh, I don't see it in the performances. I don't see that... I mean, if you look at the game last night, it was a, it was a full-blooded game. Nobody pulled out any challenges. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't look at our team and think oh, they're saving themselves for Saturday because they weren't. They gave everything in the game. So I, I, I don't think it has affected, but you never know. Psychology in football is, is key. So it's... It's a difficult one to answer. Maybe some players have kept a little bit back, but I don't know. What are the qualities that you're going to need this weekend if you are going to make the, the FA Cup final? I think we have to play almost the perfect game. You know, obviously we have to defend well, we have to be solid, we have to be resolute, we have to be mentally strong. But it's a game where we can't make too many mistakes because if you make mistakes against the top teams, they punish you. So we're looking to play the perfect game. If we can do that, then we've got a chance. What are the experiences that you will draw? Well, I think you go, you go through semi-finals. The only way to enjoy a semi-final is to win the game. You, you can't go to Wembley and, and play the occasion. It's not about playing the occasion. We're playing Arsenal. It's not for us. It's a, it's, it has to be a day of work. We have to go there focused only on what happens on the pitch. Not everybody's there to have a... The supporters can go and enjoy the day. That's, that's, that's their little reward for the... For a, for a cup run for us is to go there with a mentality that we're there to do a job and uh, if we do that right we can go through Just how big a challenge is it though to, to, to beat the club that is on a, a great run at the moment what, eight Premier League wins in a row I think it's a great challenge it's a great challenge for us it's a chance for us to give a little bit of excitement to the town uh, to the supporters who have like I said had a difficult season also for the players it's a chance for them to make history Reading Football Club have never played in an FA Cup final. So these players have a chance to make history. What an incentive, eh? Steve, just how important is it that whatever happens, your players have no regrets and none of them freeze? They won't freeze and they'll have no regrets, I can promise you. And since the draw has been made, how easy or difficult has it been for you to kind of keep the players' minds on the day, the, the week to week and the day to day? Work of, of, of the football. You don't, the know me, you don't know me very well, do you? Very oh, easy. Question. Very easy. Very easy. No problem at all. We focus on game to game. And I don't know if you've seen in the news today, <coughs> Yuri Gellers offered his services to you and the club. <laughs> he was the man who claimed to have broken must be another, must be another. a 29 game winning losing streak in London. He's, he's offered to come and help and speak to you guys. <laughs> must be another big game, eh? Does he, does he need a headline? He must need a headline. Not for me. <laughs> Tell him thanks very much, though. For you, what is, what is more important? Getting to the, the cup final or the, the four remaining league games? It's a great question. It's a great question. 
in my mind. Uh, I always think the league is the is the most important. It's it's the way I've been. I've, I've always thought the league is the most important. I think for the club, it's probably better that we secure ourselves in the championship. I'd, I'd love to have done that before we before we got to the the semi final. That was the that was the the aim. That was the ambition. It didn't quite work out for us. We're still looking a little bit. I wouldn't say nervously over our shoulder, but we're still respectful of the fact that we haven't quite got the points to tally we need. Uh, but I'd quite like to get to the FA Cup final as well, Ian. That would be nice. So let's let's finish well in the league and get to the final. That would be great. What are, what are you making of, of the way that Arsenal uh, are putting together <coughs> win after win after win? Good. Good. I look at their team. They look strong, well balanced. Uh, obviously in a very good moment where they're, they're winning games. They know how... They know how to win games, they've got some terrific players that causes lots of problems, uh, great problems for us to try and solve. And at the moment they, they look a really strong team. Uh, maybe left the run a little bit too late to catch Chelsea at the top, but certainly a good finish to the season for Arsenal. Do you think they stand any chance of, of winning the title? Well, mathematically, they're every, every team up the top still in it, so they've still got Chelsea to play, so that'll be a big game. So the, the, there's plenty, there's plenty for Arsenal to to chase in the the Premier League as well. Obviously, finishing second would be great for them as well. So, are you asking me can they catch Chelsea? Probably not because the gap's probably just a little bit too big at this stage of the season. But they can run them, they can run them close. Steve, would you like a full week to fully prepare for this? Don't get a full week in the Championship. That's one thing I've found out. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen for us. It doesn't happen. So the good thing is we know the routine. We know the routine. We know how to prepare from a from a Tuesday night to a Saturday. The players will, will be ready. They'll be fresh. They'll be they'll be ready to go come Saturday evening. Because there weren't many changes in that side yesterday against Bournemouth. That no, you don't. You, I, I, I didn't need to make changes this time. Everyone was harping on before the game that I'd make a lot of changes, but there was no need. The the previous round against Bradford was a situation that the FA put us in because we had to play Saturday Monday. It was too short, no recovery. Uh, everyone will tell you that the second day after a game is, is when it's most likely for your players to be tired and risk an injury. So I had to make that decision for that round. For this round, it was easy. We play Tuesday night and we've got almost four days to recover before we play again on, on Saturday evening. So it wasn't an issue. As a manager, am I right to think you've never beaten Arsenal? Probably. <laughs> no, 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 I think there was a draw. Yeah, we, no, we, we had a couple of good games against them at West Brom, uh, especially at the Hawthorns. So, I know they're a good team. I know they've got good players. But I think I know that if we play the perfect game, as I'm asking for, we've got a chance to go through. Do you envy Arsene Wenger? I mean, he's, he's been an Arsenal now a long time. Well, he's been, in, he's been in his job a long time. <laughs> it's nice to get that longevity. It's nice to get a chance to, to build something. Uh, hopefully, he'll get it here. Uh, that was, that was something we spoke about when I came in, was the chance to build something here. Uh, obviously, the team's had a couple of years of disappointment, relegation out of the Premier League, not quite making the playoffs in their, their first season down. Uh, and this year's also been a disappointment. So it's a club that I knew when I came in in December that I would have to start reshaping at some stage. Uh, and that will probably come in the summer. But for now, it's to focus on the last five, hopefully six games of the season. Quick one from me about your uh, your under 21s who uh, beat their Arsenal counterparts earlier this week. Was they come back suggesting that uh, therefore you might uh, like to go and do the same? They came back suggesting I should play them on Saturday. <laughs> That's what they were doing. That was great. Uh, good performance for the, the under 21s. They've been they've been good this year. Our under 21s. We have we have a good strong academy here. Uh, good way of playing, and it shows you. Probably Arsenal thought with three first team players and their under 21 side they had a chance to. They had a chance to win, but the, the boys went there and did a good job. So hopefully, we can back it up at the weekend. Okay. Oh, just just in terms of captain, presumably, will it be Jem? If Jem plays, it'll be if Jem plays, it'll be it'll be Jem. If Alex, if Jem doesn't play, it'll be Alex. What what's it meant to you to have Jem back after a long, long time now? It's great. Uh, obviously, when I came in here, he was. He was still in the process of coming through and we've, we've had to look after him properly. He's had little setbacks along the way, even since I got here. 
Uh, but he's been out a hell of a long time, and it's it's good to have him back. He, he's an infectious player. He's an enthusiastic player. He, he brings something different to the team. It's it's been good to get him some time on the pitch with the first team. He's, he's waited a long time for that chance, and he's doing very well. I'm very pleased with Jim.